Hello, hello, and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. I have the window open, and it's very windy outside, so if you hear the wind, know that it's helping to melt the snow, and I'm very, very happy about it. <laughs> today I want to talk about expressing yourself versus talking. I don't know if you really pay attention to people when they talk to you and if you can feel and see the difference when they express themselves. I didn't look up any definitions now, but I know for me it's a huge difference. When a person talks, it can be either entertaining or boring, self-centered, opinionated, judgmental. When a person expresses him or herself, it comes from the heart. It comes from a deeper place. And usually people listen more to people who express themselves than people who just talk. You see, a person who talks can have very, very sorry, valuable information for you to learn about, new things that you can discover like on an intellectual level. But when it comes to a feeling level, and I think I repeat myself often enough, we're all animals and we all care crazily much about how we feel in a certain situation. When someone expresses true interest, when someone expresses true feelings, that is when they touch your heart. That is when you know they won you over as a listener. So I'm going to give you a little example here. Let's say... I talk to you about the weather. The weather is pretty nice today. It's been snowing. Now it's sunny. And I'm going to go for a walk today and then afterwards, yeah, cook a meal, maybe watch a movie, read a book, and that's it. That's my day. So I give you a bunch of facts so to say, about myself, things that I'm going to do, things that I'm observing. And maybe you're interested in that, but maybe at the same time you thought, hmm, that's um, when I ask you how your day is going, how you are, that's not really the response that I wanted. But you see, oftentimes we give people that response. Instead of saying, oh yeah, we're fine, which is the ultimate slap in the face as an answer. We give them a little rundown of what we've done, what we're going to do in the day. And it's maybe interesting to some degree, but not really. It doesn't create connection, doesn't create any depth. And it sure doesn't let the person know how you feel in the moment doesn't always have to be about them, right? You don't have to completely open up and tell them how much uh, yeah, they mean to you and everything. But when you are in a relationship or it's a friendship or acquaintance or just someone who's genuinely interested in you, watch what you're doing. Are you talking or are you expressing yourself? If you want to keep that person at a distance, Keep talking, honey, because that's for sure how you're going to keep them on a distance. If you go deeper and share how you feel, how you, yeah, the phone is ringing, but I'm going to ignore it, <laughs> how the things that you've experienced today made you feel, you know, I am repeating myself a lot here, but I will keep doing it. Then people will feel like you want to connect with them. 
you want to be vulnerable with them, you share something with them that you wouldn't share with a complete stranger. And this is what creates depth. This is what creates genuine relationships. So next time you talk, observe yourself if you're just talking, expressing yourself instead. And you will see it makes a huge difference in your relationships, be it with your siblings, your parents, your friends, and even with a stranger. Sometimes when you tell a stranger, instead of just saying, fine, hey, no, I had a tough day, I'm going through a divorce, um, no, I'm actually really hungry right now and I don't feel well, they will show compassion, they will like be curious about you if they are open to it, if they don't have too much on their own plate. But usually when you are open and vulnerable and express yourself authentically, you create something in the other person. You want to be as honest as possible, as authentic as possible, and it will open up doors in other people. It will make them see you. It will make them feel compassion and empathy. And they will be able to relate to you. Talking can go deep too when you tell a story about your painful past or something. But there again, when you go into details and how you felt in a situation... It will touch the person way more than if you just throw a story to their feet, so to say. So this is just a short little episode for you. Um, I feel I could say much more about this topic, expressing versus talking. But I will leave it at that, short and sweet, because now it is up to you to observe yourself on how shallow you are or on how deep you are. It is very scary to go deep at times, but the fruits that you will reap from that behavior are incredibly precious. You not only create a relationship with another person, but you also feel yourself on a deeper level. And this is what the Borealis podcast is um, all about. I want to connect you back to yourself. Know yourself and I know you can be such a strong and beautiful person out there in the community, in life and enrich people, enrich yourself, express yourself, never hold back on how you feel and I will leave you with that. I will be out there tomorrow again. Thank you so much for listening to the Borealis Experience. Aurora, bye-bye.